Dr. Mike's track rep paws and claws, and this is Salsa. She's a mom dog we have here. We thought today we'd show you guys how to do ear cleanings. Uh, we usually use hot dogs or some type of reward treat to keep our dogs happier when we're doing medical procedures. And so we'll take donations of any type of hot dog, stuff like that, anytime. Um, you can see how much she likes them. So we're gonna see if we can get her ears cleaned. Dog ear problems, some dogs need to have their ears cleaned on a routine basis because they get wax buildup, irritations, and that can lead to secondary infections and stuff. Or if they're swimming a lot or bathing, um, water is your enemy when it comes to ears. Um, moisture is not something you wanna get in there. Um, a lot of dogs can tolerate it. We get dogs that swim every day and have no problems, but there are a subset of dogs that if they get moisture in their ears, they'll end up with an infection a week or two later. And we see that quite often. Um, so if you do have a dog with red ears, wax buildup, smelly ears, never hurts to use your nose to try to see if it smells, um, those type of situations should be brought to your vet and they should examine them to determine if they can figure out if it's an infection. And based on an ear smear and some possibly a culture and stuff, they can determine if it's bacteria versus yeast. Is there an underlying issue like allergies? Dogs with allergies can get chronic ear problems too. So that would be something you want to talk with your vet. So today though, we're going to cover just routine ear cleaning. Cleanings, if you have a dog that gets a little wax buildup or that swims and you just want to dry the ears out, you go ahead and clean them. Now when you use a cleaner, you want to use a, use a cleaner that's labeled for dogs or cats. Um, and you want to make sure that the cleaner is, has a drying agent in it. And so try to find a good cleaner with the drying, especially if you're going to be using a cleaner for dogs that swim a lot and stuff like that. There are more medicated based cleaners. Um, these type of cleaners are cleaners that your vet would probably typically set you up with, especially if you have chronic issues. For example, this product is oftentimes used in dogs that have yeast infections, so, so that's an option too, but a veterinarian would set you with that. So the big thing with ear cleaning, as a lot of people don't realize, is that to clean the ear, you need to do more than just wipe the outside here. We need to actually fill the ear canal. And so most bottles come with an opening, you gotta open it up, and then you wanna fill the ear. Now sometimes it helps having a second person available to massage or rub the opposite ear. So your dog really doesn't like ear cleaning. It's getting another person over here working this ear while you're doing this one helps a lot. And so once you fill the canal, then you're gonna massage it. And when I say massage it, you're literally gonna pinch the canal together. The canal runs down the side here. You're gonna collapse the canal without causing trauma. So it's a gentle massage. And what you're doing is you're trying to get that cleaner to work up the wax and debris on the surface of the ear and loosen it and get it suspended. Um, so it's kind of like a washing machine effect. And I sometimes tell people it's kind of like milking a cow in reverse, if you ever milked a cow. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other ear here. And they tend to shake like that. And it can get in your face and eyes and stuff and also on your furniture. So you always wanna do this in an area where if they shake, it's not gonna make a mess of your house. It's outside, in the garage, laundry room, something like that. So again, see how I'm just gently massaging here, working it up. And then I sometimes take and rub up onto the peanut too, the ear flap and get that. Now when you rub, use this part of your finger. Don't use your fingernail, because fingernails are notorious for scratching ears when you're cleaning. So you get them worked up, let the cleaner do its job in there, and then they shake. And that's normalcy shaking. Typically here then what we use is a gauze, but a lot of people don't have gauze. So you can get by with a Kleenex. And what, I, what you want to do with a Kleenex is generally fold it into about the size, size of a gauze square, put it on your fingertip, that way your fingernail is protected. And then you can safely go in with your finger as long as you're not forcing it down and you can get clean out all the grooves. And wipe up on the peanut, get that cleaned off too. And that'll get you cleaned out on the outer surface really good there. So yeah, you wanna, you wanna put, be sure you're protecting your fingernail though so you don't scratch the ear. Gauzes work good. Some people can do cotton balls. I don't have as good a luck with cotton balls. They tend to roll off my finger. So I like to use gauze or something soft like Kleenex. I don't like paper towels just because paper towels are a little more coarse and they can be a little more irritating to the ear. So get that all wiped out good. Now, Sasa here didn't have terrible ears. She just had some mild wax. So we just, we're just we using her as a demonstration because she's a good dog. Um, generally speaking, in most cases, people, I don't recommend using a Q-tip. But if you ever use a Q-tip, the secret to using a Q-tip is never ever hold it long. You always want to hold it very short, maybe half inch at the most. And that way if they shake, jump or anything, you do it. But Q-tips do work really good in these grooves right here. And see how dogs have a lot of little grooves and holes. And you're not going to be able to go deep with the Q-tip because you're holding it so short, but you can get those grooves with it like that. And you'll get a tiny bit more out. So again, hold it short. Do not hold them long. That way if we shake, jump or anything while we're doing this, we're not going to jam it into the eardrum. And it's good for these grooves out here a little bit like that. So there's your general ear cleaning. So in general, what you wanna do, and depend on your dog, is possibly clean the ears if they get a mild wax buildup, maybe clean them monthly, every dog's a little bit different. 
Some dogs actually need it weekly. Um, clean your ears after swimming if your dog has problems. So if you have a good weekend of going to the lake and you're swimming, take and clean them on Sunday night. Um, or after bathing, if you think you've got water in the ears, it never hurts to put a little cleaner in afterwards. And that will help keep the ears clean a little bit. Some dogs never need ear cleanings. Other dogs need more. And again, if you're seeing redness, smell, or lots of debris build up, that's when you want to go to your veterinarian to figure out what's causing the cause. Because if you just clean, it's not going to treat the underlying issue, whether it's allergies or an infection or anything like that. All right, good luck.